The geomagnetic disturbance is reaching its peak. I have to act now. Stay back! Colonel, something wrong? Sir, we've been sitting in the commissary for the past half hour. We're gonna be late for our briefing. Two weeks ago, SG-15 took these images of solar activity. Have we not previously been briefed concerning this matter? I was just gonna say that. I distinctly remember sitting here listening to Carter prattle on about solar activity and a corona something. How would I know that? We have an unscheduled incoming traveler, sir. It's SG-12. It's SG-12. Both appear to be in perfect health. Except for the fact that they're remembering events that haven't even happened yet. Jack, wait up. SG-15 took digital images of the carvings on the ruins. It might be you. Maybe you're not remembering future events. Maybe you were sent back in time. Something wrong? Two weeks ago, SG-15... We've done this. Jack. It might be you. That's the machine right there. Whatever you did, I want you to undo it. It doesn't matter, you're too late. We're all stuck in a time loop of some kind. You're better off in here. I was just coming to look for you. I know. If we really are under the influence of an alien technology, then the effect is clearly being translated to Earth through the Stargate, in which case the solution is simple. We dial out. Chevron 7 will not engage. Incoming wormhole. The only way to stop this loop is to figure out how to run that stuff. If you guys are the only ones with memories of previous loops, then you're gonna have to help me by learning and remembering. Cram, Eras, Krat, Kramus. This is a bad idea. Section 23 ends with a reference to... Okay, this section of the text seems... Okay, this section of the text seems to... This appears to be a reference to... I'm taking this loop off. If we don't find a way out of this soon, I'm gonna lose it. What? Oh! On the other hand, it is kind of an opportunity. You could do anything without having to worry about consequences. Bird has one. Uh, with the help of Tilk and Jack, I've managed to complete the translation. P4X639 was once a colony of the ancients. They built the time machine, but it didn't work. The device caused a short-term continuous loop. They gave up, they shut it down. The loop can be broken. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. I need more time. She died. 12 years ago. I know I can make this work. Even if you could, you can't change what happened to her. I can. Touch your face again. And then what? You start over. I lost my son! I could never live that over again. Let her go. Well, we got a message from the Tok'ra. Apparently they've been trying to contact us for over three months. Were you ever tempted to um, do something crazy? 